when inspectors visit a school, they'll expect to see good formative and good summative assessment. They'll want to know how often pupils are assessed and what tests are being used. For those schools that struggle to create their own, we can be sure that the marketplace will come up with good standardized tests for each year group and each subject. Inspectors will want to see how well the tests are linked to the curriculum and how the results are being used to inform the school about the quality of teaching and the progress of the children. They will also want to see how well schools are responding to changes to the national curriculum from September. Every head teacher should be asking themselves the sort of questions that inspectors will be asking when we inspect schools in the weeks and months ahead. Are staff ready for the significant changes to the curriculum? How is the school's assessment model linked to the programs, programs of study and schemes of work? Is there an effective training program in place for staff? Are your teachers geared up to teach for linear rather than modular exams? Is the school timetable and school day flexible enough to accommodate the new curriculum? Parents have a right to know through clear, unambiguous reporting how well their children are doing. So inspectors will also be paying close attention to how well schools are reporting on progress in relation to the targets that have been set for every pupil at the end of the key stage. So, in summary, teaching has come a long way from the days when I first entered the classroom. We have more teachers, we've got better teachers, we have a profession that people are proud to join. If we can improve teacher training and retain more of our newly qualified teachers, we will rival the best education, education systems in the world. The teaching landscape is changing. It is becoming more devolved and much more autonomous. We're not training teachers in the way we once did, and we're not reliant on assessing children in the way we once were. These changes, I believe, are for the better, but they bring with them their own challenges. Nobody, government, local authorities, or Ofsted, is telling teachers how they should teach. Yes, we expect clear standards to be set. We expect all pupils, irrespective of background, to be stretched, to be tested, and to achieve. But how you teach, how you assess, how you train is really up to you. So my message to teachers at the start of the new year is an upbeat one. Exercise your new powers. Be masters of your own destiny. Refuse to be cowed. Refuse to be victims. Refuse to be people that things happen to and become people who make things happen. Don't be frightened. Assert your authority. Teachers have been given that freedom. I think it's time we used it.